Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to recreate a freeze frame from a classic surveillance security camera from an ordinary photo. This document is 800 by 1200 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. It's always a good idea to make a copy of the original image, so press Ctrl or Command plus J to make the copy. Go to Filter and Lens Correction. Click on the Custom tab and we'll distort it to minus 30. This gives it the look of a fisheye lens that many surveillance cameras have. Slide the vignette amount all the way to minus 100. This darkens the perimeter of the image. The midpoint amount brings the vignette either closer or further away from the center of the image. We'll slide the midpoint to 39 which brings the vignette a bit closer in. When you're done, click OK. Next, go to Filter, Texture, and Grain. Choose Clumped for the grain type. The intensity will be 50 and the contrast 50. This gives our image a low resolution grain, which is indicative of the quality of most classic security cameras. In the Layers panel, click on the New Layer button, and then click on the foreground color. Make the hue 0, the saturation 0, and the brightness 50%. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with the foreground color. We're ready to make our scan lines. Go to Filter, Sketch, and Halftone Pattern. The Halftone Pattern window will open. The size will be 1, the contrast 40, and the pattern type line. Go to Select and Color Range. The color range window will open. Click on the arrow, choose Highlights, and click OK. In the Layers panel, click on the New Layer button, and press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the layer with white, which is our background color. Then, press Ctrl or Command plus D to delete the selection. We can now drag the halftone line pattern into the trash since we don't need it anymore. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur the scan lines by one pixel. Change the blend mode from normal to soft light. Click on the adjustment layer button and choose solid color. Pick a very light green. I'm choosing EEF3E7. We'll change the blend mode from normal to color. This gives our image a slight greenish video-like cast. Let's set up some guidelines for the text. Go to View and make sure rulers and snap are checked. Go to the ruler on the left and click down and drag out a guideline one inch. Then drag out a guideline one inch from the right side of the image. Go to the top ruler and drag out a guideline one inch from the bottom. And lastly, repeat it for one inch from the top. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. I'm choosing a font called Alter Ebro or Alterabro Pixel Font, which you can download for free at defont.com. For this font, I'm making it look more condensed by squeezing the text in by 66%. Type out the date, call up your move tool, and then click on it and move it until it snaps in place. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of the text and then drag it to the opposite corner. Press the letter T to call up your type tool and then click and drag across to highlight your text. I'll type in Camera 4, call up my Move tool and then move it until it snaps in place. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of it and drag the copy up to the top right corner. We'll close the character text box to see the text better and press T to call up your type tool. We'll highlight it and type in the time of day. Call back your move tool and slide the text until it snaps in place. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy and drag the copy across to the top left corner. Press T to call up your type tool again. We'll highlight it 
and type in REC for record. Hold shift as you click on the bottom text layer. This highlights all the layers in between. Right click and select rasterize type. Go to the top layer and click on it. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. We'll blur it by one pixel. Click on each of the rasterized text layers and press Ctrl or Command F to repeat the Gaussian blur filter for each layer you click on. Shift click on the top layer and drag them all into the new folder button. We'll rename the folder text. Click on the new layer button and call up your elliptical marquee tool. Click Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag out a small circle. Click on the foreground color and choose a bright red. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with the color. Then press Ctrl or Command plus D to delete the selection. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 3 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command plus H to hide the guidelines. Let's rename this layer Red Light. Click on Layer 2 which is our scan lines and then press the New Layer button which will place a new layer right above it. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and click and drag out a rectangular selection over the text. Press D to make your foreground and background colors black and white respectively and then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with black. Let's reduce the opacity to 50%. Press Ctrl or Command plus D to delete the selection and press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of the transparent black rectangle. Click on the transparent black shape and drag it across. Go to Filter Blur and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by one pixel. Click on the other transparent black rectangle and press Ctrl or Command plus F to repeat the Gaussian Blur. I think the scan lines may be a little too bright so I'm going to reduce the opacity. Let's scroll down to the scan lines, make it active, and we'll reduce it to 70%. So here is our original ordinary photo and here is the same photo as if it were a freeze frame from a classic surveillance security camera. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.